Hey, what's going on guys? It's your girl Rochelle and I'm here with another video, finally. <laughs> So this video, we are going to be doing a three month, three, three month lock update. So I know that I missed the first three months, <laughs> but I felt like um, I didn't have much of a change and I was so busy doing school and finals, but now I'm finally done and I have time to just sit and focus and concentrate. So I decided to do this three month lock update. So these are my locks. Yes, yes, they're flourishing right now. <laughs> so um, I really didn't do a two month lock update because I did style over my locks, even though I said I wasn't going to do it. But it was the holidays and I was like, oh, I need to look like somebody a little bit. So I did style over my locks. I had um, two strand twists, Bob Marley twists on top of my locks. And they were pretty long. And I was really scared because I thought they were going to thin out my locks. But actually my locks just puffed right back up. And it made me really nervous. But I think one of the big reasons why uh, my locks didn't thin out that much for real was because I did not keep this styling for long. The first time I did it on my last set of locks that I had, I kept those in for about three months and it thinned them out. Like it really took a while for my locks to kind of come back to life. But with the last style, I only had it in for about a month. And then I took them out and once I got them wet, they just kind of just puffed right back up and they were doing their thing. Um, yeah, so I was happy with that. Um, will I style over my locks again? I'm not too sure. Probably not for at least for a while because I just want to let my locks live their life and breathe. Um, but yeah, so these are my locks now. Um, they really are starting to just lock up for real. Like, they're pretty much like they're locked for the most part. Like, my back, um, they're still a little loose, but once I washed my hair and I gave it like a good wash, like, I scrubbed the crap out of my locks. And um, they all stayed intact, like, none of them began to unravel or anything like that. Um, so, I'm pretty much locked all the way through for the most part and I'm starting to bud and they're just locking. Um, one of the things I feel like contributes to this is because I did have locks before so my hair is kind of used to the locking process because um, I combed out my first set of locks and I got my hair twisted the next day. I'm crazy. So I feel like it really never had a ch like the chance to kind of be loose and get used to that. I feel like they were just used to just locking up. So right now they are they're locked pretty much, and I have a good amount of growth. This is my longest lock. It comes down to here, and my locks are just a lot of different sizes, like all around. Like in the back, I have like really short ones, and like as you can see, this one's really long. Um, just because when I did comb out my hair, I lost more hair in other places than others. Um, so so far, so good. Three months in, I'm so excited. My locks are locking, and they're starting to look like locks. Like people are seeing me, and they're like, "Oh, you're growing dreads." from like the last time it was like oh twists or you know something like that so i'm really excited three months in so far and looking pretty good guys looking pretty good not too much changes i'll insert a picture of how my locks look the first day that i got them just so you can see like a compare and contrast so yeah these are my locks thank you guys for watching and i will do another update at four months i promise i'll do another one so stay on the lookout for that like subscribe this video because we will be continuing this lock process if you guys have any questions comment down below and i'll see you guys next month bye